Tactical analysis of the Republic. Captain's motivations completed. Analysis of combat profile 63%, with three primary errors, 7,248 inconsistencies. Note for reference. Acquire more data to increase accuracy and alleviate inconsistencies for best possible emulation. Analysis indications and conclusion. The captain prioritizes safety of his combat forces. Indent. Specifically, the crew and personnel. On multiple occasions, he has sacrificed combat capability to the ongoing survival of his clones and fleet officers. See the destruction of warship Justice, the defense of the sensor array at Ralnar 6. Mark for future research. What could prioritize these assets over weapons, ammunition, and tactically sound territorial gains could supply in winning the Republic's war against the Separatists? The Captain. Aker's bold, aggressive strategies that garner swift victory over drawn-out engagements. Error. The Captain has, on six different occasions, sacrificed the potential low-cost victories for unknown reasons, leaving obvious areas of advantage. This does not compute. Left the weapons production center at City Center Cal 6 intact instead of striking from orbit. This has given the CIS an easy resupply point, as removed his forces from two planets who did file to stay neutral and the conflict yet stand in positions of great tactical importance, as deployed his vessel into unwise combat situations and efforts to save low valued assets, civilian transports, freighters, low ranked combat ships such as the Arquintan's Pride of Fondor. This does not compute. More data required. Implementing cursory tactical and personality subroutines to align with these behaviors. Still more data required. Accessing high clearance database of CIS operations in sectors 5.2.3. Known operational area of the newly christened Venator. Designated Liberation. Contact intelligence collection for any intercepted holonet comms mentioning ship. Liberation. Jedi. Kota. CO. Jack. Commander. Shed, or 162 relevant officers associated with the above. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to the Clone Wars. We're playing Empire War Forces of Corruption in a fantastic mod called Fall of the Republic. Let's turn on all the things. This is, of course, if you've never heard of Empire War, a total conversion to the Clone Wars era classic RTS with a very active modding community with some really cool mods that are going all kinds of different directions. Continuing the campaign as the droids. Well, I've got a few options here. Cato to Moidia is finally under our control, which is wonderful, but we can't get to it. We're blockaded in from like two different sides and we still don't own Deco to Moidia, which is kind of lame, but weirdly, we did get Fondor. And the way we got these, if you missed it last time, was we've been doing, and we're going to order up another one of these because we've got the cash now. We finally got a really nice positive cash flow. Um, we're going to pick up a trade. No, Techno Union? Yeah, who owned? Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't. It, we got to go Trade Federation again because we didn't get this. You can invest in the different factions that kind of make up the Separatists and bring more of their worlds into uh, the, I almost said Alliance, but yeah, the... Uh, the Separatist Movement. So we're going to continue to do that. We're going to try to get Deco to Moiti because I really want that space station and that warship that's over there. They got a donut. The Doom Donut. So let's go and do the research a little farther away from the front line. We're going to go for uh, Techno Union. And after that's done, what other factions have we not? I mean, we could try to get like Alziri. Not that I'm super worried about it. Who controls us right now? Independent. Okay, so never mind. We can't take that without actually conquering it. I'm not too worried about taking out an independent faction. All right. Let's get a probe back up at Talisia. I think this was pretty much clear and we were good to go. At the same time, we're going to keep building up our space stations and we're going to put in an order for the big... Turn that music down a little bit so we can hear the game volume. Um, that big research that we've been sitting on to get more vulture droids into the field for our... Uh, for our coverage, and I'm gonna get another group of B2 battle droids in the works. Um, you know, in production. I really like the AATs. Unit in production. So we'll get like another armored column coming out. That being said, oh, this could be tier three if we build it all the way up. I think we're gonna do just that. Oh, we're working on Trade Federation. We're 50% of the way there. Nice. Commerce skill. 
No. no. No, no, no. That's not what I was coming here for. I was coming here for a... I can't get it. I can't afford it. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to... Oh, we're going to need that probe, by the way. Let's get two probes. Let's get them sent out. See what we've got here and here. Maybe we can take them. We've kind of dug in everywhere else. I could put an ion cannon on your world. Uh, we're about to get paid anyways. And it's not going to cost us anything, right? Yeah, it's not going to cost any of those big resources. Okay, I see ground forces moving around. They're starting to reinforce this planet. We have to... But if we move, we're going to open our up to two different directions for attack. Hmm... Let's do a scan on this, too. Oh! Kironovoidia. No! This is a planet that we flipped. And now the Republic is coming after it. Ah! Now, we have a current mission to defeat four. I believe four of these acclimators. Two of which we've already taken out. So we need to drop two more of them. Oh, look at that! Uh, custom light corvette. I almost thought that was a gladiator for a second. That's not the right time period. We're in trouble. Um... No, we're not going to be able to stop this. We might want to go ahead and just run. If we fall back... Oh, I think they've got a Pelta. They might be able to stop us. What level space station is this? Oh, no. No golem platform either? Uh, nope. And we can't retreat for a while. Let's keep an eye on... There's the Pelta. And the Pelta did drop a mine. All right, we have a mission. Republic cruiser has sustained critical damage. No, it hasn't. Protect the control tower to prevent a design vulnerability from becoming clear. Interesting. I hit control A. Do not let Republic troops secure target alpha. Look. Shields online. Activating Do not let Republic troops okay. secure so target alpha. So we need to break alpha. these guys off. We got to take out that mine or the fleet is not going to survive. So we're going to get everybody broken off to the side here. I'm going to have the guys make Update. best Republic speed straight down. Hyenas break off. Shut down sequence nearly complete. Uh, you guys should be super fast. I got one scarab, so you, you go ahead and start running. So you guys are already making your way down. I've given them the individual orders to head towards the bottom of the map. I might end up having to turn them and go straight for the mine. It dropped it right away, the interdiction mine. If we try to run, it'll activate. Shields Most likely. Online. Let's Need go ahead. To reacquire it immediately. Fall back. Fall back. The Republic forces are far too great for us, and we need to buy ourselves a little bit more time. Yeah, we're going to have a, the whole Tracking fighter fleet service. curve in and, and go for the out. objective. Only a few of you need to get through it. Let's see how much... Ah, oh, it's going to be close. Visual scan negative. Break off ahead of this up a little bit more. There's no reason Flight. to go straight at this. God, look at that fleet, though. Uh, how much health does this thing have? I've never killed one of these. Deployable, capable of preventing shifts, doesn't say. I'm going to imagine it's not very much. We're taking a lot of concussion fire. It looks like... For a minute, I thought the fleet was trying to pull off. All right, you guys have your orders. Go for it. We're being chased through the system. Oh, look at that. If only they didn't have all those icons on them. All right, the fleet's about to make it. Hyena bombers ready to go. As soon as that fight, the shots are off. Shots are off. Did they get it? Retreat. We are not retreating. We're advancing in a different direction. Yes. Enemy ships are just starting to get to the back end of the fleet. Three, two, one. Making the jump to hyperspace. Woo. All right, that's quite fun. There's very few mods that actually have it so the hyperspace mechanics work. The AI, know, AI knows how to use them. It was an advantage that the player has. Not anymore. That may not be true anymore for Awakening the Rebellion either. That might have been changed in the last big update. All right, so where did we end up falling back to? You know what? I'm fine with that. We can put a... Wait, what is this? It's an Industries. Bactoid Industries. This company provides a discount and time reduction for all of the Bactoid Industries. Uh, combat, Automa, Fleet Ordnance Products, B1 Battle Droids. But wait, really? You make B1s cheaper? We can also get a Droid Works here. What does it do? The basic training of tactical droid units. Yeah. Do it. 
Go ahead and do that. And the other thing I want you to do is I can't afford it, so never mind. Ground invasion, huh? How many? Republic commandos, two ATTEs. We've got speeders coming in and all led by Mace Windu. This isn't much. There's no like proper. Yeah, that's not much at all. Okay, this is a really bizarre setup. Aren't they going to land like. They're going to land up here, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Move the MTT back here. Move the B1s up. Um, move the artillery back to here and the B1s farther up so they can get into these bunkers. Yeah, I think everything else is fine. Why did they give me a, a tree transport? Interesting. All right, let's begin the battle. We're going to make them pay for it. I think we can hold. If we invest a little bit into some static defenses, we should be able to hold this. Bow, 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 bow. I'm quite enjoying the droid campaign. It's fun. I'm thinking about doing a new Gladius campaign. We made it. All right, ATT, wow. let's move. We really killed Looks them like they're waiting for us. Look at the super battle droids. Nice. Are they holding? No, they're holding them forward. Oh, no, they're doing both. What? Why did it freeze? Because there is a boatload of enemies coming. That's why. Um, you guys get to those defensive points. Okay, so they ended up starting in a really... Eh, can they get across this river? Saber tanks can. Yeah, I think saber tanks are going to be our problem. Get in there. Where are these troop transports? We've secured. I'm going to send at least two of you Reporting up to the in. north. What do we have back here? Ready to destroy the clone. Definitely grab this. We know we're going to need... Half of you get in there. We're going to need anti-infantry and a lot of it. Because we have a mace window and he needs to take a lot of damage to get put out of commission. Get in there. Uh, stand up front. Stand up front. Super battle droids, you guys are going to be support. They've got bikes coming in. So are ours. Those are explosives, run! Okay, that wasn't so bad. You're straying from the control center. Uh, there's something worth capturing back here. Let's go check it out. Roger, roger. I'm sending super battle droids that way while the rest of you can move up to... Oh, nope, not all of you. You two, come down here. UB1's gonna move up here. Is that it? Is that the big... Where's my artillery? There they are. Um... I can give... I pause so I can give this order. They should deploy if they're in firing range. If not, he'll move in a firing range. If he lives long enough. I'm a little worried I'm overexposed on that side, but... Oh, look at you and your free units. Go back. Go ahead and move up. We've got enemy contact. How's that artillery looking? Yeah, I don't like you there. Move back here, and then we'll deploy you. Oh, balls. That's not good. Let's go, bikes! Yep, nope, you're just getting blown up. Oh, and that, that turret can chase you. Let's not do that. You out of range? Alright, armor move up. B1s move up. Basically, I need the armor to move in. And delay that move, that that push long enough. The ATTEs switch to proton torpedoes and start firing at this. How's that already looking? Already forget everything you were just doing and switch your fire to here. I love that it could deploy the water. We've got a large push in the middle. Looks like it's mostly. That's not too bad. I think this fight's gonna be over before. Before they get... Oh. Yeah, focus on the infantry. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You've almost got it. A few more rounds. Oh, look at the... The wrist rockets. Nice. ATT is down. I can run this without a UI on. For a little bit. Republic commandos? Destroyed. You don't use Republic commandos in a direct attack. You get sneaky with it. Awaiting orders. Well, that doesn't sound good. No, we're okay. We're okay. Uh, do I have any ground troops here? Yeah, but I don't think spiders can capture. 
Already is hitting. There's the other ATTE that was in the water before. I guess the water's shallow enough for walkers to get across. Um, and Mace Windu has entered the battlefield. What did we capture back here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, look at those bombers. Also, not good. Run! Proton bombs! Ah! Uh, you know, that could be worse. Oh, you're not going to be able to kill that, are you? I might have to send these ATTEs to hunt that target. All right, we got Windu. Scratch everything I was saying. Focus all firepower on the Jedi. They do have a lot of health, but if they're not supported, he should be pretty easy to take down. Redirecting armor. Switch to what I think is protons from the front. Come on. Come on, redesignate those turrets. Did Mace run? He's running. Is that a B1 driving that? Yes. <laughs> He's got two gutters, too. Oh, Droidicus, that way everything you're doing and shoot at these clones. They must have a free... Um... I right, run that way. We'll, we'll, we'll cycle you around. You might have the speed for it. All right, open fire. You can come back now. Are you seriously out of range? I'm so used to Awakening the Rebellion's weapons uh, distances that I don't even know, like, I just don't expect it. They're landing behind us. The scumbaggery of it all. All right. You guys move in. You are so the worst unit to go in there. We need to find that other ATE. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Spread out. Enemy bombardment prepared. Mace is re-engaged at full health. I think we need to push. Bring up the ATTEs. Switch you guys to concussions or grenades or whatever it is that your secondary is. I don't actually remember. We need to engage this. And let's get the RT a little bit closer. They're already dead. Don't worry about it. I can't do damage to him. He's actually out healing us. Uh, we'll deal with the extra firepower of those clones in the back back there, and then we'll switch back to... Switch back to him. I might be able to sneak... Hmm. Okay, we're starting to do damage. Artillery. Give me another shot here. You're the only... Oh, no. You're the only tank I've got left. Yeah, keep up with him, or he's gonna heal. Keep bombarding him. Look at Maze. Run! That's not great. How good are you at taking out, like, a squad? Oh, no! Well, until the Jedi decides that you gotta go, and then, well, then you gotta go. Got him down to half! We're gonna need reinforcements up here. I'm gonna have to abandon this post. Yes, the answer is obviously <laughs> needs more B1s. <laughs> He's leading us into the woods. I don't like this. Capture this point. I'll put a turret on it. It's worth it to take down Mace Windu. I almost expected him to have, like, turrets just waiting for us back here. I'm probably going to have to cycle back. Yeah, let's go take that out. Keep that fire up. Did he re-engage? He's healing faster than we're killing him. All right, switch fire to that. We'll go after him again. It might be worth it to switch our focus. Oh, we got another bomber coming in. All of you need to be moving right now. Just run south. Run south. Run south. You guys run north. Oh, no. Please don't kill my bomber. Or my, my tank. Oh, it might not matter anyways. Keep running. Where's the bombs? Proton bombs away. And they're going to miss. Yep. There's nobody there anymore. Oh, oh no. Well... That kind of sucked. Um, we could try to... Oh, how far did we get? Oh, I got turret! No! He's cycle using his abilities. We did... Mm, he killed everybody, but we did manage to kill the turret. And they're getting free units from here. That's not great. Now, you should have unlimited, what, B1s? Oh, they're not unlimited for us because it's a headquarters, not a barracks. Yeah. Reporting in. We have these two bunkers good to go, and we've got the three units that are coming out of here. We can. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move up here. We're gonna kill this with the Artie. Oh no! I 
Five survivors! I can't click the thing underneath you, and there's a Jedi on top of you. Run away. Brutal. I've seen this episode of the Clone Wars. <laughs> Let's get some more turrets. Let's get some more turrets. Let's capture... Tell me there's a... Yeah, there's a squad right here. Get over here. We're gonna have to ambush him with like turrets and our remaining units. Um, and up the Just number of free units that we're getting if we're gonna win this. Oh, uh, artillery. I may have to run away with you. You're not in a terrible spot, though. We might just move a little bit farther up. We have a large area we can see because of this kind of hidden satellite dish back here. If we can get set up, he comes into view distance, and then we start bombarding the hell out of him. Run away! All right, there's our contact right there. Oh, I should have sold you and replaced you with an anti-infantry turret. And Artie, I need those rounds here. Yes, you're at range. Give him the good news. Round out. He missed. Really? Oh, because I yeah, it wasn't finished. Come on, start firing. Okay, we've got to dig this back in. And you definitely need to be in the back. Yay! <laughs> the B ones cracked me up. Uh oh. Okay, I need that round right here. You're also gonna be group one, so I can start calling that in properly. I'm out of money. There will not be any more. Oh, that's a Jedi. Yep. I can shoot until I'm blue in the face here, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to win this against the Jedi. We may have to fall back. Especially with his ability to lift us. Okay, group one. Every round you've got needs to go into that Jedi. He's not moving right now. Come on, give me a shot. How much damage is it gonna do? Where's the shot? There's the shot. It did nothing! We're in so much trouble! He's just gonna live. All right, I have a plan. It's a terrible plan, and I'm happy to be a part of it. We're good. Bombardment is ready. Pick up bombardments. Spread out. I might have to fall back on this one. We've lost a what I'm trying to do, and I'm fast forwarding to see if this is gonna work. I need to get. No, he's got to turn it up. I need to kill this or Jolly. capture it. That's what we're gonna do. All right, all forces. This is our final attack. I can't kill him with that, but I might be able to sell some turrets. And what do we have left here? Yeah, we can Better come up with a plan. Ready and what we're going to do... Artillery, come with me. Don't get too close. Oh, everybody run. Or everybody run. We're going to get into the APCs. I hate clones. We're going to try to take that, to that landing site. And that might be enough to convince the Jedi to retreat. I'm hope. Wait, there's a unit in here? Oh, you're in here. You can't run over the Jedi for anybody who's like, oh, he could just do that. That's not how it works. Um, armor. Go down there, artillery. Uh, you guys come with me. All we've got is four units left. No reinforcements. Oh, some reinforcements. Light reinforcements. Where is that the Jedi? I don't like that we can't see where the Jedi is. Reinforcement hey. point contested. Get in here. Reporting. They are really slow, so I'm yes, hoping the fact that you guys are now this in transports. You're gonna be group two. Here. We're going to hover there. our butts across this, cut in, kill that turret, kill that base, take it, and hope that that like set. pushes them Last in the direction of retreating. Oh, they are taking another one, though. So we may not. We may very well not. Kill this. Go ahead and deploy to give us some cover. No, it's got the juggernaut voice line. All right, we're going to fast forward because I have a feeling this isn't going to work. But I think it's worth a try. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, if we can get up there. No, we can't get up there. Artillery? He's not close enough. We gotta wait till he gets closer. We're engaged. Run him over. That's ah, such a lame ability. All right, we're moving in. All right, we gotta push for it. We gotta push for it. Droids, artillery. Artillery's dead. They came in from behind us. 
We are taking it though, and they didn't capture the north. Oh, is this gonna work? They're neutralizing, but not killing. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we just had a squad pop. Capturing, spread out. Oh, you guys can't spread out. They have no landing zone now. I think one of, how did the Jedi just take damage? Oh, we actually had a respawn. We had another wave come in. Impressive. So all we gotta do now, maybe, maybe, is clear out the last of the troops that they've got. There's that Jedi. So we need to kill those troops without getting caught by the Jedi. Can we outrun those rockets? Are we that fast? And we can pick individual targets too, can't we? No, not really. All right, now try to shoot the guy in the back. He's got a rocket. Now you can't choose which ones you fire, where you fire at. Uh, reinforcements? Oh, you're just really slow. Come on, I need you. We've got to capture this and, and speeder bikes can't capture. That freaking Jedi. Yeah, it still hasn't popped for the retreat, so. Because the way the way it works normally, there he is. Oh, he are Why? 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 Oh, he just killed the whole the whole like scout group. If only there was friendly fire. Run around in circles. Nah, they beat us. And by they, I mean the one Jedi beat us. I think we're gonna have to send Grievous up there. Ah, oh, that's painful. We lost that system because there's just no way to do enough damage to him. All right. There is a way to do enough damage to him, and it's called bombing runs and orbital strikes. We need to hit them back. How big is that fleet? That fleet is three Venators plus two heroes. Admiral Grant. He's in a Venator, so that puts him at four Venators. And then a modified Dreadnought Heavy Cruiser under Captain Dalen. That's pretty strong, but that's not impossible. We should be able to break through. If we go through... How bad is your ground force? They've got artillery support and a juggernaut. A6? A4? What is it? It's an A5. Okay. I think we can push through this. We bounce through this. I send a probe up here and see what they've got. I'm going to send another one. See if they've gotten reinforcements. Let's go ahead and pause. I can't afford a probe. Yeah, they're 500 credits. We only have 260. All right, who's in the fleet lead? Let's try it. This is a tier... Ah, oh, it's kind of Golan 4. Ugh. Plus a tier 3 space station backing it up. Better to kill it now when it doesn't have a support fleet than find that fleet in the north down here. Cruiser here. Cruiser here. Let's go. Get those transports moving. I love that we actually got to see one of these all rendered out. They even built the bridge for one for the Mandalorian. How freaking cool is that? Confirmed. I think this might be one of my favorite Forward. freighters. Because it doesn't pull off that thing that um, like the Falcon does, where it's actually bigger on the inside. Makes a little bit more sense. Luger Hulk battleship. And the Imperial one's got docking pods at the bottom. Wow, the sensor array on that battleship is good. Where's your defense fleet? It is way back there. Now, I could engage directly, but now I'm starting to think maybe we can... Mm, maybe just engage this. I don't know, the carriers. I could have brought in the carrier. That would have been cooler. We could have waited till the enemy gets away and then swung in and blown this up and stopped any future reinforcements. It's not, it's pretty tempting. We also have one of the two sister ships of the Invisible Hand, often used to intimidate neutral or Republic world into surrendering or serving as a proxy for General Greaves command operations, named after the industrial contributions of colicoid species to the Confederate war effort. This, the battleship has no voice lines. 
I wonder when Corey's going to drop a new version of this. Um, we're not going to get in goal and range. Let's hold up here. There's no reason to. Let's bring in that flagship, but we're going to have it kind of in the rear. Or directly above. That's Flight cool. Speed. There it is, dropping out of hyperspace. Let's see if there's a difference in the models. Reacquire immediately. Gunship reporting. Now, you've got two mass drivers? What is this we guy? No longer have control of Proton torpedoes. All right, we're going to flank you with reinforcements three arrived. providences. That might be a bit silly with such a heavy fighter fleet coming in. And then let's, let's bring in some Location missile defense. But I don't mind, you know, if we end up losing it. And then let's get some anti-fighter work done. And, well, I can't afford it. All right, bring in another one. Bombers, go ahead and start chipping away. Freighters, because we bring freighters into the fight. Why not? Get in there. Let's follow this from the perspective of a Gazanti captain. You want us to do what? You realize we've only got two turrets. And they're like the lightest of turbo lasers, right? At least they're dual linked. Dual linked means that there's two that fire at the same time. So all that stuff, I love this. All that stuff actually means something in Star Wars. So you hear like turbo laser, laser cannon. Um, there are differences and they've had to be statted out because of the various tabletop and video games, right? Yeah, the enemy fleet's getting absolutely decimated. So when you hear the word turbo laser, if you're kind of new to this, turbo laser, think of this like a really heavy cannon that's meant for punching through a lot of armor. These are going to be your capital ship weapons. So those big weapons on something like a Venator, uh, I don't really have a good example here, do I? Those would be turbo lasers. And various games and various mods and RPGs kind of roll with different versions. Like there'll, there'll be some, I think some that are introduced in here is super heavy turbo lasers. Um, to denote like special artillery ships. We get the rebellion does something too, similar to in that mod. Um, and I'm totally for it. I think it's quite cool. And then you get weapons like the ion weapons, which are going to be great against shields or against, it should be good against droids, funny enough. The Republic should have been using nothing but ion weapons in this fight. Damn near. Because ion weapons are supposed to be incredibly effective against, well, any machinery, but including droids. All right, we're going to push forward. Let's begin the siege of the Golan platform. Let's make sure the Lucre Hulk actually gets there first. So you guys better be moving an escort. Look at that shot. The Providence is going by. It's such a lovely model. All weapons firing. What do they get for the description of the warship? Luger Hall conversion that uses interior space normally reserved for complementary cargo for extra reactors. Uh, for extra reactor ship generators and bracing. Mounts a significant amount of turbo lasers as a result while maintaining a dangerous point defense grid. Compared to battle carriers, it's a much better ship. Uh, basically, it's covered in guns of all of the types, and they are all firing right now. If I turn off the UI, you can really see them going off with the with the diamonds slowly creeping across the screen, eating their occasional, you know, concussion missile and torpedo. Yeah, even that stuff's systemized. So if you hear the words concussion missile, you're thinking of a weapon that's normally meant to take out fighter craft. Um, they can punch a little bit above their weight class, but those are the fast and smaller missiles that can track. Um, if it's a rocket, obviously it doesn't track. But you've also got then your uh, your torpedoes, proton torpedoes, which are going to be the the armor piercing, um, you know, ship killers. If you want to go one step above that, you're talking about proton bombs. Those things you see the Y wings drop and Rogue One, those are proton bombs. They're also really well known for like uh, Shadows of the Empire back on N64. They were in that. They were they've been in a bunch of games. Uh, which is quite great. Like the, the late 90s, early 2000s release of video games really helped figure out a lot of the Star Wars tech so that we could have all this extra weird lore and strategy for games like this. I've been GMing my own tabletop game for quite a while. I actually had to rework all of the uh, space combat rules because they kind of sucked when they first came out. And then, funny enough, FFG redid their own space combat, enemies retreating. And um, now it's in a really good spot. It's actually quite good. FFG released a, a version of their tabletop rules called... Um, oh, heck, what is it called? Uh, uh, I have the book right next to me! 
Genesis. That's what it's called. Genesis. G E N E S Y S. Same system as the old Star Wars. It's non Star Wars branded, but it's literally the 2.0 version of the rule set um, that you can apply straight to the Star Wars stuff. It's quite good. All right. So we've managed to blockade Lorinar. What are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about this shenanigans? There's a big fleet back here. Hmm. Well, we got to punch through this. We got to join up both groups. That's what we've got to do. Uh-oh. The game crash? <gasps> no! We're going to give it a minute. Oh, it didn't crash. Okay. We, we had like that. Uh, you ever seen that in Empire where everything goes white for a second? Um, now that we hold this, I mean, we can hit it again and leave a ship here to hold or we could invade. I think the ground invasion is probably the better bet. Because then we can have Grievous kind of dig in here. Or at least have his troops dig in here and send Grievous off to the next world to break through the blockade and get to Deku Nemoidia. <gasps> Wait! Deku Nemoidia is under our control! The Confederacy has conquered Deku Nemoidia! Yeah! That research is done! Nice! How big is the space station? Not big enough. Alright, let's get that research going. We're broke and can't afford it. Oh, well, maybe not. How big is the fleet here? It's the battle carrier, right? No, it's auxiliary. Armed freighter with retractable weapon mounts. Weaker firepower and worse armor compared to its more militarized siblings. Right, 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 right. Um, ooh, that's a good point. At the very bottom of the description, it says you can upgrade this to a Lucre Hulk battle carrier at a Dreadnought Shipyards. Uh, we are at a Dreadnought Shipyard. We just haven't been able to build it yet. We need to get eight grand to get that Dreadnought Shipyard. And I think what we're going to do is send all of our Lucre Hulks over here to get a weapons upgrade. Or like this one right here, carrier upgrade, now that we have the possibility. I see you, Venator, and small fleets. It'd be tough. We might be able to pull that off. One Venator, three Acclimators, and four Dreadnoughts. Yeah. This wouldn't be so bad, but they've also got a proper heavy frigate shipyard. And look at that list of reinforcements. Hmm. Better to let them come to us in this instance. Either direction. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Let's move the ground forces. That's what we're going to do. We're going to move in. I'm also going to move up before we do this. Those new... Yeah, there's that new piece of artillery. Wonderful. Just what I wanted. How are you... I can't afford anything for you just yet. Your artillery is there? Yep. So we've got double artillery and seven platoons of B. Whoa. B1s. Bolster support, huh? Conquer the planet of Chasen. I'll get a proto de Wait, a proto deca. What the heck? What is a proto deca? If I take Chasen. Ah, oh, really? We might make a U-turn then and take the fleet back. I will pick up another probe droid and we'll see what Duro has. All right, Grievous, take your B1s, conquer this world. It's going to be a pain, but I'm going to set down double artillery for you. And we'll just use that to thin the crowd, I think. Should work. I thin out all those clones. Grievous better survive. Oh, did we get paid? 6.8. Yeah, we're going to get some cash on us. I have a plan, and oh no, we don't have any, we don't have any assassins. Lame. All right, B ones, go, 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 go. Uh, yeah, that kind of puts us in a weird spot. You guys are so slow. Don't tell me you're stuck. Come on, come on. Yeah, they're stuck. Is there no way through here? Oh, we have to go all the way down this ramp. But this hillside is actually perfect for artillery. Let's get some air units. Um, I don't really trust it, so we're going to hold back on pulling in another unit. Because look at how slow our... Yeah, we're not going to make it up there in time. Follow me! All right, Artie. You're not stuck, are you? Are you guys actually able to move? Hey, you're able to move. All right, I'm moving you in. Oh, two units in there. 
Oh, wait. Each one of you uses up two slots, don't you? Nice! Let's go! I have not used this transport before. It can't hold much. But using this to move around maybe commando droids could be pretty good. Oh, is this what we're capturing? Give him some ground support. We're in trouble here. I need that artillery piece. Open fire, open fire, open fire. I'll get a repair bay up. Come on, Artie. I need either two of these or two pieces of artillery. This is way too slow. Two pieces of artillery that aren't missing all the time. We should lock down this, this ramp. All right. I'm going to go double Artie. Bring it in. You guys have captured that. Lovely. And we need some anti-tank capability. And you know what that's going to be? We're already using artillery. Let's go heavies. Yeah, let's go this. And this. Man, you showed up to the wrong neighborhood. You got blown up. Oh, no. Okay, we got two pieces of artillery. It's going to make you guys one group. Go ahead and deploy both pieces. And it's the... It's the A5 right away. We have the space now. Time to go for doubles. Let's grab this and a repair center back here so we can start. I think we can repair air units with this. Keep shelling it, Artie. Because it can't go fast enough to get. Yeah, I can't go fast enough to get out of our way. We might even be able to hit it with this. And I'll bring in some ATTs to give us a little bit more uh, of a distraction. Um, we're busy in the south. We just need a few more B1s. Good timing to have that down. <laughs> We've got a bombing run ready. Do we have any... What is that noise? I need a, I need a scout group. Uh, B1 battle droids and repair droids. No. Okay, command droids will work. Command droids will be fine. B1s have hit the deck. They're holding them in position. Am I going to have to call in that bombing run? <gasps> no! The A5 got away. Lame. Lame, 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 lame. It repaired you. Cool. You guys are going to be grouped too. You're going to be my scout. Hey, Artie. Um, you don't need to ask for permission. Fire. Oh, isn't this a great shot? You may fire when ready. It doesn't have a sound when it shoots. And you can see the battle raging on back there in the background. Gotcha! One dead saber tank. Oh, no! I love that I can still click them back. Get back there. You don't need to chase anybody. I don't know if you guys on YouTube world can see that, but I was clicking the Hellfire droid and telling them to fall back. They were getting into a silly position. They seem to like to do that. They've taken a landing zone here, and I kind of love the idea of them using it and me just shelling them as they do. But... This is not going to win us the war. This is just going to delay the inevitable. Oh, hi. We need to get into there and take them out. Hey, commando droids. Now that I ha I get one unit, really? I need you to get into the enemy base. That means sprint past the enemy front line, past the gigantic juggernaut walker. They're all dead. No, they're all dead. What made it? You're the hero we need. Get in there. Bob? I couldn't think of a good droid name, so I'm going with Bob. Bombardment available. B0B? Oh, nope, he's dead. I have a bombardment, but nothing to bombard. We may have to just walk forward. Guys! Seriously? I know the B1s are like super not usable, but you don't have to sit there and just watch them all get scrapped. We should send some AATs in first. They're relatively easy to replace. I think we're ready to push. Uh, AATs from up here. Come on in. Uh, you know, I do have a better scout. I'm not going to put B1s in it because there's no real point. We're just going to... We're going to press in from the north. I wonder what I need to do to get the assault ships. 
Like the actual gunships, not the transport variant. I just heard a Windhelm scream. <laughs> roger, roger. Oh, please keep going near that landing zone. Fragging. Not really an important target. Let's keep moving. We'll come back and kill it. Right now, I need to stop their reinforcements. I can hear the walker. Definitely kill that. Give me a... Bombing run on this. And now fall back. So you might be able to take down that squad. All right, we got to go. We got to go. Run. Here comes my bombers. Tactical view from above. We've got one bomber left. One bomber did make it. Proton bombs away. Don't mess with proton bombs. As long as one gets through, it's all that matters. Ooh, we had enemy contact back here at the landing site. Uh, I wasn't going to, but I think we are going to have to march forward now. Let's go ahead and press. We'll kill this. Stop the enemy reinforcements. Are they spawning stuff down here now? No, no, don't move. Oh, one of you is damaged? Why? You better not die. There we go. They're dead. Enemy saber tank! How's my gunships doing? I don't want to have to replace you guys. So you better be alive. All right. The enemy is moving to, you know, reinforce the the front. So I might be able to sneak in here and throw some rockets. What are you guys packing? Heavy AV black. AV. Anybody know what AV stands for? Let me know in the comments. AV. Blaster cannon, blaster cannon, beam cannon. Two AI beam cannons and a proton Destroy. missile launcher. Uh, we have stopped the enemy reinforcement. Uh oh, some of my units went a little too far forward, but honestly, that's fine. You're quick, let's go. Fire those rockets. Calling in the assault gunships. Good job. Give up, clowns. Oh no, I moved, I moved group one instead of group two. <laughs> Did he just threaten to clean their processors? Awkward. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know what that means, droid. Who programmed these droids? Um, a lot of rockets. Please kill them quickly. We need to reinforce the front line. Actually, it looks like the front line is doing fine. I see a lot of purple rockets. That's normally a good thing for us. Ah, uh, no more enemy reinforcements. Please spread out a little bit. Thank you. They can't shoot over the terrain, but the Hellfires can totally shoot over it. Hey, they got an ATRT. Get it. The ATRT, the motorcycle of Star Wars walkers. Those things would be so stupidly fun to drive. All right, what is the enemy situation here? They shouldn't... Oh, no, run away! Run, 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 run. Uh, an unbeknownst to me, anti-air turret just started lighting them up. There might be something else up here. We should go through it. Yeah, no, we killed that already. Um, Hey, group one, make it go away. Thank you. That's one dead ATRT. We've lost a build pad. Another Opening one right here. Fire. They haven't retreated yet. They haven't given up. We've secured There's nothing up pad. there to fight anymore. <laughs> okay, what is that? Trying to leave. It must be this thing making those noises. Like, looking at all the designs, the Separatist Army the is such a bizarre ad hoc group of, of units. One of those things that Lucas was able to do really well was just come up with... We left a building up! Bombing run inbound. Nah, stay back. We'll bring in the bombing run for the final victory. Was to make iconic 
vehicles. There's a there's a video of him doing, uh, I want to say it was like episode two. And they would lay out a bunch of designs for what like the Venator would be. It was something fairly iconic. And he'd just walk in, he'd say, he'd look at the first one that caught his attention, point at it and be like, that one. That's a clever way of doing it. All right, there we go. I don't know if we lost anything but B1s. Oh, we lost an AAT company. It must have been at that lower drop site. Hmm. Hmm. That's too bad. All right, everybody. That's going to wrap up this episode because we're already pushing an hour. Let me know in the comments what you think about the campaign so far. Let me know if you're playing your own campaign and if anything crazy has happened to you. I, every once in a while, I get, you know, people leaving comments about theirs or a lot of it is reports of the liberation being blown up and awakening of the rebellion. And why, guys? You got to keep my ship alive. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.